Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and I've got a book review for you now. Um, I was contacted last week by um, the Book Guild um, and they asked me if I would like to receive and review a copy of a new children's book that they've recently published called Actual Reality and it's by Cat Mantra, 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 Cat Mantra. So basically this is a middle grade book. I would say our leading character is 12. He turns 12 in the first chapter. Um, his mum and dad buy him a computer for his birthday. I think they're separated. It doesn't really split, explicitly say that. Just that they chipped in together and bought him a, a brand new computer. And he also gets a disc, which looks like a computer game from his dad. And the, the name of this disc is Actual Reality. He puts it into his computer, uses the controller that came with it, and he's immediately transported into another dimension with where his father is. And he discovers that his father works for... Um, the Interdimensional Federation and they protect time, space and all the various dimensions from history being messed up by bad guys who want to control time and the dimensions and also to put right things that would go badly wrong if he wasn't there. So for instance saving a mountaineer, mountaineer from falling to his death saving a uh, shipwrecked girl, a girl who's been thrown overboard in, in the bad weather and also fighting I think the interdimensional empire or something along those lines they are the ones who want to control time and space and um, he gets to fight them with people like Billy the Kid in the Wild West. <clears throat> now this book actually reminds me of two television programs from the 1990s um, Quantum Leap where Sam Beckett jumps from time to time putting right what went went wrong and also Sliders which was a group of people who slid from dimension to dimension to try and get back home. Now Josh, our main character, does get back home at the end of every adventure and that's where, the way it differs but it did sort of remind me of that sort of thing. I love the premise of this book. I've actually read it and finished it and I really enjoyed it. When I was eight or nine this is the sort of book I would have loved all children like to be the hero, all children want to be a hero and with this you go along with Josh and you are the hero with him because when he gets his tasks some of them aren't skills necessary, some of them are skill sets and some of them are common sense. So his common sense is like how he builds a raft and it tells you how to build a raft. Um, where it's skill sets it's things like things you would do in a computer game like driving a spaceship or firing blasters so things that children can do anyway but he's doing it for real my one worry was at the end of the book that Cat Mantra would cop out and have it all be in a video game he didn't and I'm really pleased he didn't because I really loved the concept I love the idea that Josh can return in another volume and I hope he does and yeah, so it really, really made me happy that I could think, oh, there'll be more adventures with Josh. I do hope that when Cat Mantra writes some more, that they're a bit more in-depth, because some of the, the little tasks were really short, but maybe that's a good thing, because obviously if you're eight or nine, you might not want to read really long in-depth stories, although, you know, they might do. But saying that, I really enjoyed it. I could not wait to find out what Josh would do next, where he would go next. There are so many places that I want him to visit and so many things he'd done that were really exciting and really interesting that I don't know where he came up with the ideas but I'm really glad he did. I really love this book and look look at this cover for a minute. Just look at this gorgeous cover that really represents, you know, the sort of thing of virtual reality with the very sleek and modern, very simple but absolutely beautiful cover. So... I've given this 5 out of 5 stars because I absolutely loved it. Um, I'll just read you a little bit from chapter 5. So I'm not going to give up too much. Basically, Josh was sitting in a very futuristic looking room with chrome tables, very plush chairs with keypads that did who knows what on them and a large screen at the front of the room said simply IDF in large red letters. The room seemed to be lit by long blue tubes that stretched all along the walls. Then a door whooshed open behind him and his dad walked in. Hiya kid. Dad, Josh said excitedly and then immediately tried to calm himself down. It's okay son, I know you're going to be hyped up for your first mission. 
So yeah, it's just, it's a lovely story and I would recommend if you've got, you know, you could read this to a younger child uh, than eight, but a, an eight year old could read this by themselves without any problem. So if you wanted to, I mean, there's nothing in here that you couldn't tell a six or seven year old at all. You know, there's nothing in it. It's not that particularly violent. There's no sex in it or anything like that. There's no swear words. He says wow and doof a lot, which is quite sweet actually. And it's it's about how he relates to people as well. It's just really nice. So I would recommend this book if you can pick it up. It's not over expensive. The recommended price on the back is $7.99. I really enjoyed it. This is one of my picks for middle grade. I really, really love this book and I can't wait for the next Cat Mantra Actual Reality Josh set of stories to come out. I will definitely be picking them up when they do. So that's all for this this uh, video and review. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will leave a link down below where you can buy the book if you so wish. Um, so by all means go ahead and click on it and, and get yourself a copy of the book because it's lovely. I do recommend it. It's not very long. It's only like 200 pages. Not even 200 pages, 200, 158, 157, something like that. So it's not a very long book, but it's worth it. So go pick it up now. So if you like this review, obviously give me the thumbs up, share, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye.